from videos and animation to a looping GIF. We're going to create GIF images in Photoshop. You have two options and the two options are you can either convert a video or you can create a frame by frame animation. And all you have to do for a video is just left click and drag this into Photoshop. Now with mine, I'm going to turn it into a square GIF. All you have to do is go to the crop tool right here and then right at the top, set it to a one by one square. And then you just want to go into the first tool and you're ready to save it. All you have to do is go to file, go down to export. And then in here, you want to go to save for web. So once it's done loading, you will have a bunch of options. And further down, if you wanted to edit the image size, you can always change it in here. You can then go ahead and press save. You then want to give this a name and then go ahead and press save. And there we go. Now we've saved it. We can go ahead and have a look at it, drag this into a new tab. And there we go. We have the GIF right here. And of course, the second way to do this is a frame by frame animation. So you want to go to create new project, set it to 1080 times 1080 and go ahead and press create. Once you've got yourself a fresh new project, you want to go up to window and go down to timeline. And you want to go into the one that will say frame animation and go ahead and press the create frame animation. So first thing is you want to get yourself all your images and drag them into your project. Once you've done that, we're going to then create ourselves the second frame by pressing this button right here. And on the second frame, you want to hide the first one and unhide the second one. So basically the way that this works is whatever is visible at the moment in time is going to be the frame which will be created. And then once you're ready to save this, all you have to do is same as last time, go to file, go down to export and go to save for web. Make sure it's a GIF and once again, press save. This one, we're going to leave it as it is. Press save. We can have a look and see the GIF that we've just created. Now, another problem that you might run into is the video frames. When it comes to Photoshop, you are limited to 500 frames. So the first option is to simply reduce the frame rate. So at the moment, we are set at 30 FPS. So what we can do is we can go onto here and same as last time, go to the frame rate and set it to 24 frames. So this is going to make it so you can fit more frames and you can actually play the whole thing. And as you can see, if we now go all the way to the end of it, you can see we get much closer to the actual end of the video. But let's say you didn't want to do that either. What you can do is you can close this down and what you would do is you would go to file, go down to import, go to video frames to layers. So in here, you would just locate your video and then click on open. This window will pop up and all you have to do is go into the second one, which is the selected range only. And you would pretty much trim this down to right about here. You can then go ahead and press OK, press continue. And this will load it in into frames. And what we want to do now is want to go ahead and go back to file, go to import, go to video from layers. So same as last time, open this up, go into the selected range only, and then you would drag the first one. So pretty much right about here. We then want to go ahead and press OK. On the second one, you want to go into the lines, go on to select all frames, go back onto here. You want to copy frames, go into your first one. You want to scroll all the way to the end, go into the very last one, go back onto here and then go to paste frames. And you want to make sure you set it to paste after selection. Go ahead and press OK. And now we've got more than 500 frames as you can see. And there we go. We have now gone over the 500 frames limit. 